Hey everyone, my name is Luis Cruel and welcome to this intro to my scripting DVD. I'm a senior technical artist at Avalanche Studios New York and I've been a technical artist for over six years now, working at places like EA Tiburon on Madden and NCAA and the different football franchises, Sony Online Entertainment on DC Universe Online, and Certain Affinity on the Halo franchise. The goal of this DVD is to give you a nice foundation into my scripting so you can write your own tools and automate your workflows. So chapter one, we're going to take a look at the command line, which is down here, and how to launch commands through it. We're also going to take a look at the script editor and everything that it can do. And we're just going to give you a nice foundation of all the UI elements inside of Maya that regards to scripting. We're going to take a look at shelves and how can we add commands to our shelves. And we're going to do some basic commands just to kind of launch the outliner and launch the hypershade. On chapter two, we're going to have a nice overview of programming. Uh, we're going to go over variables and what those are, uh, all the different data types. So we're going to learn about floats, ints, strings, and booleans. Uh, this is mainly focused at artists and animators that really haven't scripted before or programmed. And we're going to kind of just go over some basic concepts of programming, what an array is, what comments are, commands, logic loops. And it's just kind of a nice foundation into programming. So in chapter three, we're going to learn about Mel, uh, Mel syntax, how to run Mel commands. Why is Mel still relevant when we're going to be talking a lot about Python? And we're going to end with a nice script that I'll show you guys right now. Based on selection, you can zero out controls. So let's see it in action. So you can just basically select a few controls, hit it, and it will zero out those rotations. Uh, if you don't have anything selected, it will also zero out the whole rig. This is super useful for animators. Kind of goes without saying. Most rigs kind of have a companion script that has this function in it. So we're going to learn how to do it. And then on chapter four, we're going to learn about Python and why you should use Python, all about the difference between Mel and Python and the syntaxes, how to run it. And we're going to do the same script to zero out FK controls in Python. So you guys can see one to one the differences between Mel and Python. We're going to go over modules, tabs versus spaces, how to convert Mel scripts into Python scripts, which is something that a lot of people probably have to do if you find something online that you want to use, but it's kind of old and you want to convert it, we're going to go over it. So in chapter five, we're going to learn about the bread and butter of Maya, the ls command, which is pretty much used in every script multiple times, the get and set attribute commands, which you can imagine are super useful, and the xform command, which is really powerful and not as well known. And then on chapter six, we're going to do our first full script, which is going to be our clean combined script. And what it does, it takes two objects and it combines them really cleanly. And it basically spits out another object. There's no history to delete. There's no weird node groups on top. There's no weird naming. You take two meshes, you get one mesh out. Super clean, super useful. I've used this in production and it's really, really handy. Then on chapter seven, we're going to do a lot of practical scripts. I'm going to show you guys some of the scripts that we'll do then. One of them is a bottom pivot. So basically it just slams your pivot to the bottom of your object. It's kind of useful if you're kind of doing world, world building and, and you need to see it, the pivots lower. It's kind of useful. Uh, another one that we're going to do is the detach separate script, which is an old mail script that is really good. And, and we implement it in Python. So what you do is you select some faces, run it, and you get a new object based on those faces. It's really useful for modeling if you have combined some couple of objects and then you want to kind of break them apart. It's super handy. We are also going to look at the spreader script, which is super useful when you have a lot of blend shapes, a lot of objects kind of all piled onto each other. What it does, it basically spreads them out evenly. And then if you hit it again, it puts them all back together. Super simple, but super useful. Especially once you have a scene that has 30 objects all crammed in the origin. Or if you have a lot of blend shapes, they kind of need to pull them apart and see them. We are also going to take a look at a quick x-ray script. Which Maya has this nice x-ray feature. But it's not on an object basis. So say I want to model the inside of this object. Sometimes you just want to make part 
of your scene x-ray and then part of your scene not x-ray so it's a toggle too so I'm going to show you guys how to do that so the goal of this chapter is to basically take a look at production examples and deconstruct them learn how they're done and hopefully you can take pieces from that, those scripts and build better tools out of them and then on our last chapter we're going to take a look at building Maya UIs and this is usually a fairly gnarly topic that people like to avoid, but we're gonna dig right in. I'm gonna show you how to do all the different widgets that Maya support, uh, from checkboxes, groups, sliders, text inputs, pretty much all the main common stuff that you might wanna build a tool out of. And we're gonna finalize that chapter and the DVD with the renamer script that basically does a lot of search and replace functionalities as well as prefixes and suffixes so it's kind of super useful one nice touch that this renamer does that the default Maya renamer doesn't is you can replace with nothing and essentially you delete whatever you have uh, chosen so it's really useful if you kind of want to rename some stuff sometimes you'll have a one at the end of a bunch of script or a bunch of objects after you've been modeling for a while so this tool will let you kind of clean all those things out so it's super useful so this DVD is really good for anyone that's just starting into my scripting maybe artists and animators that are curious about it but never really done it or people that have done Mel before and haven't really gotten into Python we're going to cover a lot of basics, a lot of fundamentals, a lot of production ready scripts that should help you right away. So let's get started.